Stone. Third stage, does she ever in Claresta? It's the field of eight for the first. On a perfect day for Greyhound Racing here at Avian Park, Wangaratta. The runners are getting set well for the maiden race number one, a nine race program coming up. Here's the lure for the first time this afternoon. They're set in the first. Ready to go. Racing this time, slow out Sweet Picks, winning the start. White Sox leads a length from Blue Zone, moving up the outside. Quiet bloke the rails, then came third stage. Further back then was Does She Ever, a length and a half back then. Sweet Picks followed by Denver Miss. And a long way back last of all is Claresta on the home turn. It's Quiet Bloke getting through to lead. Down the outside, out after it is Does She Ever. Quiet Bloke getting tired, but Quiet Bloke. It'll win it a length on the line to Does She Ever. Six away third was Blue Zone. In behind them then was White Sox followed followed by Sweet Picked. Further back then was third stage and Claresta. Stand by for our numbers on race number one. Quiet bloke, you'll find will be the winner of the first, three, seven and five. Three, seven and five on race number one. We'll check that time. 23.56 the time, 23.56 on three, Seven and five. Number three, the winner, Quiet Bloke. Having its first start in a race two today, Quiet Bloke. And has done it well. Was one of the best out. Sweet Picks missed the start. White Sox and also Blue Zone with the early leaders. Quiet Bloke quickly positioned in a nice posse behind them. And got to the lead just prior to the home turn and raced away. Does she ever was out after it in the last 20 or so metres and uh, the third there number five, Blue Zone. First starter owned and trained by Kay Callaghan at Werribee. The winner of Fawn and White Dog whelped in December 85 by Nitrogen from Tri Ginger. Second to seven, Does She Ever by Stoney from Simply Honey trained by R. Andrew at Pearsdale. And third to five, Blue Zone by Blue Etzel from Society Bell, trained by R. Holder at Broadford. Three, seven and five in the first here at Wangaratta. All clear on the first, three, seven and five, all clear, race one here at Wangaratta. It's the inside, box two vacant, sadistic queen three, bogong cloud four, box five is vacant, Navarra in six, solar city seven and Ruthie in box eight. It's the field for the second, the grade five, over 400 metres. <coughs> Just about set for a start now. In fact, they are. The green light switched on, the lure in motion for the second here at Wangaratta. All set, ready, racing this time. Missing at their top, Duchess. Straight to the lead, Sadistic Queen. From on the outside, Navarra in the early stages. Then came Solar City. The head of the rest around the outside, Ruthie, followed by top, Duchess. And last of all, Bogong Snow. To the home turn, they swing Sadistic Queen by a length and a half to Navarra on the outside. Then at the head of the rest, down the outside was top, Duchess. But Sadistic Queen in front near the line and Sadistic Queen by two. Second placing Navarra. Third went to Bogong Snow from top, Duchess. Then in behind them, Solar City and Ruthie. Stand by for numbers on race two. Numbers about to come up. Second event, it's three, six, and a photo. Three, six, and a photo. Number three, Sadistic Queen, the winner. Second to six, Navarra, a photo for third. We'll check further details after this Melbourne race. Garatta after the photo, three, six, and one. Three, six, one, race number two.
start out behind the track was Wicked Smile. Then came Valley Tang about two lengths into Astra Fox and last was Extra... Entrancing, too good though. Entrancing. Romance the inside box here with Society King. Faze Effendi, Marakit, Bold Kelly, I'm a Jerome, Galveston Lad, and what a rascal. It's the field for the fourth, they're moving in well. Fourth event on the program this afternoon, the Maiden. Lure rolling now, race four from Wang, they're set. Ready racing this time, they came out as one bold. Kelly hit the ground running and leads half a length from Camelot Romance, the inside, then I'm a Jerome. Society King, the rails, then Galveston Lad off around the outside at the head of the rest, then was Faze Effendi, followed by What a Rascal and Marriott last of all on the home turn. It's bold. Kelly in front in second placing Society King, the rails, then Camelot Romance, but up the straight, bold. Kelly well clear, and bold. Kelly by about five or six on the line. Camelot Romance or Society King for the Miners, a close one there. Followed by What a Rascal in behind and the pull up was Faze Effendi Marakit. I'm a Jerome Galveston lad in the bunch too. Stand by for placings on race four. Too good for them, number five, Bold Kelly. Photo will be called for, I'd say, for second and third. It's pretty tight here between. Camelot Romance and also Society King. And uh, five and a photo on race number four. Number one has got second, Camelot Romance, and third to nine, Society King. Five, one, nine, after the running of the fourth event. 23.67 the time, 23.67 on race number four. Standing by for the margins to come through. Five and a quarter by a head. Five and a quarter by a head. 23.67 on five, one and nine. And here's our winner returning now after race number four, number five, Bowl Kelly. With the all clear there. All clear, Wangaratta, five, one, nine, all clear. Winner 5, Bowl Kelly, owned by P. Corboy G and G. Swanwick. Trained by G. Swanwick. The winner, a white bitch whelped in November 85 by Chariot Supreme from Gaston Flyer. Second placing to one, Camelot Romance by Tangalol from Big Romance. Trained by B. Gray. And third into number nine, the reserve, Society King. Starting from box number two by Blue Etzel from Society Bell. Trained by R. Holder at Broadford. 519, five and a quarter ahead, 2367, all clear, race number four. Bay, Arumba City, Woody Black, Littlebury Lass, Surf Alina, Power Gel and Strolling Benja. Field for the 640 metre journey down to the judge in the lap of the track here at Avian Park. Look to be just about set for a start. They are the lure rolling. Race five, the grade five. They're set, ready. Away they go this time towards the inside Silver Feather in the centre, Littlebury Lass and also showing pace in the early stages, Power Gel, a good drive to the first turn, awesome trouble there, a couple of them got clouted, Woody Black, Littlebury Lass lost many lengths, into the back they go, Half Moon Bay's taken over, leads three to Power Gel, a further gap of three, then Strolling Benja, then Surf Alina, a gap back then was Silver Feather at the head of the rest, Woody Black from Littlebury Lass and last of all Arumba City, to the home turn they swing, 
Half Moon Vale straighten up two lengths in front. Out after it is Power Gel on the outside and running on two strolling Benja. Half Moon Bay in front coming at it. Power Gel. Oh, great go. Oh, Power Gel on the outside. Diving up along the rail, strolling Benja and Half Moon Bay in the centre. A three-way go locked together on the line. The head of the rest probably would be uh, Woody Black Littlebury Lass was back in the bunch of Rumba City Silver Feather. Sir Felina with the others to finish. Terrific go this. I brought Paul Hammond up from sale. I should have given him that one, I think. Would have tested him out. Stand by for numbers, race number five. That was a beauty. Power Gel looked to have just grabbed Half Moon Bay, but then diving through on the inside was Strolling Benja. And a three-way go here on race number five, and we will leave this one to the judge. Great finish. Three of them locked together over the line. Power Gel had the measure just before the line of Half Moon Bay, but then Strolling Benjas dives through on the inside to make it very interesting indeed. And uh, I think we'll leave this to the judge. On the extreme outside, Power Gel, the centre Half Moon Bay, and the rail Strolling Benja. Here they come, seven, two, and eight. They are seven, two, and eight. Number seven, Power Gel on the outside is one. Second place in the centre, Half Moon Bay, and third on the rails to Strolling Benja. Seven, two, and eight. Margins will be interesting on race number five, the winner returning. Number seven, Power Gel, owned and trained by M. Kuzner at St Albans, the winner of White and Fawn Bitchwalt in January 84 by Ballarat Prince from Libya. Second placing going to number two Half Moon Bay by Bow Etzel from Scarlet Ribbon, trained by Ark Conway and third to number eight Strolling Benja. Another stride or two, it would have been very interesting for Strolling Benja there flying home on the rails. It's by Busy's Chief from Tivoli Stroll, a train by F. Tanner. So it's gone that way, outside in. Half a head by a head, the margins, half a head by a head. And we'll just check that time on race number five, 38.33. 38, 38.33 the time. Half a head by a head, 38-33. All clear, all clear on those placings of seven, two and eight. Side checkmate two, Baluda Bay three, Charming Shroud four, Lady Jerome in five, Miss Melanie six, Dapper Boy seven, Blackberry Rum, the outside box eight. Moving in well. Sixth event, the Maiden Sweepstakes final. They're all in now. Green light switched on. Here's the lure for the final. They're ready to go. Set. 
Racing this time, the best out was Lady Jerome in centre boxes. Blackberry Rum, Dapper Boy joined it early. Bent Banana just behind them. Followed by further back in the field then was Miss Melanie. Further afield then Checkmate. Getting well back, Charming Shroud and Baluda Bay last of all on the home turn. Dapper Boy's broken clear in second placing. Bent Banana up along the inside of the head of the rest. Checkmate up the straight though. Dapper Boy clear and Dapper Boy wins by two lengths. Bent Banana second, Checkmate got third. The head of the rest then was Blackberry Rum. From further back was Lady Jerome. And then in was Miss Melanie. Well back, Charming Shroud, Baluda Bay. And it's done it again, Bent Banana. Stopped very quickly there into the catching pen and back the other way. Stand by for the numbers. The sweepstakes final. Dapper Boy. Dapper Boy had begun quickly with Bent Banana. And also Lady Jerome and that's or well Lady Jerome, Dapper Boy, and also how quickly standing by and seven one and two the numbers, seven one two. Seven one and two the numbers on race six. Number seven, Dapper Boy. As I said, it was one of the best to begin. Matt Strides, Bent Banana sat just off the pace. Checkmate was up there early with Lady Jerome. One that did cop a check in the run appeared to be Baluta Bay. It uh, seemed to stumble going into the first turn. Checkmate got back a bit and has run on well. But all honours with the winner, Dapper Boy. Too good for them, too strong. Second placing to Bent Banana and third to Checkmate. 7-1-2. And we'll just check that time on the sixth event. 23.35. 23.35 was the time recorded on race number six on the program. 23.35. The trifecta numbers required. Seven, one and two there on race six. We'll check the details there. The winner returning. Number seven, Dapper Boy. Owned and trained by G. Laidley from Cheltenham. The winner, a brindle and white dog, whelped in January 85 by Tangaloa from Stage Talk. Has scored officially by three lengths with a length and a quarter between second and third. Three by a length and a quarter and the PA has gone off the track. Test. Whoops. We've lost the PA and we <laughs> Numbers going up, Jamie's Choice. Winona Test, box five is vacant. Man is made from seven. Even numbers are being locked away. Proven City, two. Son of Susan, four. Favourite from six, Barbariat. And Pintara Chief, the outside. Green light comes on for race number seven. Lure begins to roll. Stand by for a start, about to break. Racing, Jamie's Choice first to go, Pintara Chief showing pace, Manners made in the centre and ripping round the outside of the field was Barbaria to go up toward the leaders. Back in behind them was Son of Susan, well back was Proven City and last of all Winona Tess. The leader was Pintara Chief about a half length, Barbaria to danger, they got three or four to Jamie's Choice. Round the corner, Pintara Chief, Barbaria wearing it down on the outside. Pintara Chief, Barbaria goes home too well. Barbaria won by half a length to Pintara Chief, very close for 30, the Proven City or Jamie's Choice. Man has made dropped out of it after showing a bit of toe and Winona Test was well back and last in would have been Son of Susan. Stand by for the placings after the seventh event on the card. But the favourite coming home over the top of Pintara Chief and Barbariat you'll find will get the verdict from Pintara Chief and it's very close for third placing. Between uh, Proven City and Jamie's Choice. Jamie Choice has got third so it's six, eight and one. Number six, Barbaria at the winner. Second placing to eight, Pintara Chief. And third, number one, Jamie's Choice. Six, eight, one after the seventh event. L. Willsmere is a black dog, whelped in December 85 by Chariot Supreme from Barb's Melody. Second placing to number eight, Pintara Chief by Boetzel from Lady Ledger. 
And third number one, Jamie's Choice by Chief Dingan from Casilla Lodge. So it's six, eight and one after race seven. <coughs> three quarters of a length, the winning margin, four and a quarter between second and third, three quarters by four and a quarter, 23.35. It's all clear for 6.81. Girl, Emma Girl, Misty Tree, Spotted Gypsy, Rojo Zan, Brooker Sun and Kid Moss. Just about set now. The odds are in, the even numbers moving forward. Eighth event, the sun out again here at Avian Park. It's been a pretty good day considering we're in the middle of winter. Here's the lure, race number eight, 400 metres, the maiden. They're set for a start. Ready racing this time. Try Daisy missed it. Emma Girl the best to begin. Joined early by Rojo Zang. Going up to third spot. A gypsy from Try Daisy the rails. Then came further back was Kid Moss. Getting right up along the inside. Misty Treese. Further back then wide was Brooker Sun. And back to the rear of the field. Mariner's Girl on the home turn. And straightening up in front. It's Rojo Zan over Emma Girl. Second at the head of the rest. Kid Moss. But down the straight. Rojo Zan. Rojo Zan by two lengths on the line to Emma Girl. Third was Kid Moss. Followed by back behind them. Then Misty Treese. Try Daisy further back then Brooker Sun in behind them spotted Gypsy and Mariner's Girl. Stand by for placings race eight. Numbers coming up six, three and eight. Number six Rojo Zan the winner. Second placing to number three Emma Girl and third to eight Kid Moss. Six three eight on race number eight and the time 23.67, 23.67 the time on race number eight on the program. Well, at box rise there, Tried Daisy missed the start. Emma Girl was best into stride. Uh, Spotted Gypsy was handy early. Likewise, um, Kid Moss and Brooker Sun. But, uh, as they came off the back, Rojo Zan was the one who got through the bunch to lead. On the home turn, Emma Girl was out after it with Kid Moss and also Misty Trees battling out the minor end of the prize. But six, three and eight as they went across the line on race number eight, the ladies' committee stake for maiden performers. All clear on six, three and eight. All clear six, three, eight as Dale Waitman puts another one through for the Tigers. They're 12 goals, 18.90. To Collingwood 11 268, 22 points in favour of Richmond now. Winner of the eighth event on the program was number six, Rojazan. Roger Zan owned and trained by R.L. Wilson. The winner at Black Dog whelped in May 85 by Bao Etzel from Wagner. Second to number three, Emma Girl. By Chariot Supreme from Miss Etzel. Trained by Ronnie Eisen at Murchison. And third to number eight, Kid Moss by Kid Scandal from Tim Moss. Having its first start in a race. Trained by R. Andrew at Pearsdale. Two and a quarter, four and a quarter, 23.67. All clear was there on race eight and another goal to the Tigers. <laughs> Rebecca Ann three, Lequeur in box five, Voltron seven. Go Queen is the scratching here, of course. So box two is vacant. Bogong Cloud four. Earl Sunball six. Precious Red box eight. Just about set for a start. The grade five, race nine, the last here at Wang this afternoon. They're all set. 
Ready racing this time. Coming away smartly there, Voltron towards the outside with stage prospect Lequeur nicely placed too, followed by Precious Red behind them, then Rebecca Ann, followed by All Sunball and Bogon Cloud at the rear. To the turn they swing, Voltron by a length and a half in front, stage prospect, then came Lequeur and right around the outside, Precious Red in the straight stage prospect, and on the outside, Voltron stage prospect goes home the winner. Uh, by about a neck to Voltron. Now third placing there up along the inside, Lequeur, just in front of Rebecca and Bogon Cloud out wide, Precious Red in the last with Earl Sunball back in the bunch. Stand by for placings on the last, race number nine. Numbers about to come up here at Wangaratta. One, seven and a photo. Stage prospect the winner, Voltron second, a photo for third. We'll check further details after this race in Melbourne. Wangaratta, one, seven and five. None. One, seven and five here, one, seven and five. Stage prospect the winner, second to number seven, Voltron, and third went to number five, Lequeur. One, seven, five after the last. I will just check that race time for you in race number nine. 23.40. 23.40 in the last. And the winner there, number one stage prospect, has scored by three quarters with four and a quarter between second and third. Three quarters by four and a quarter, 23.40. Stage prospect owned in the last stage, prospect owned by V Leak, trained by K Leak at Keysborough. Winner of black and white, bit 12th in January 85 by Tangalala from Stage Talk. There's the all clear on one, seven and five, all clear. Second placing going to number two, Voltron, uh, number seven, Voltron, from Bo by Bowitzel from Lady Liga, trained by P Osborne of Benella. Third to five, Lequeur by Wild Port from Tim Moss, trained by R. Andrew at Pearsdale. Three quarters a length, uh, four and a quarter, 23.40 in the last. Further details to follow, including tote dividends.